an object comes to point A with a speed of 2 meters per second, what is its speed at point B? Vertical position of point A is 20 meters above the zero level. Vertical position of point B equals 7 meters above the zero level. Speed at point B is what we want to know. Assume no friction, ignore presence of any non-conservative forces like friction. First of all, what is a scenario? If you have something like this, so if we are given speed at point A and height of point A and height of point B, can you calculate speed at point B? So we say total energy at point A equals total energy at point B. Kinetic energy at point A, that is energy due to motion, plus potential energy at point A equals kinetic energy at point B plus potential energy at point B. Does it have kinetic energy at point A? Yes, it is moving. Does it have potential energy at point A? Yes, because the zero is right here. Does it have kinetic energy at point B? Yes. Does it have potential energy at point B? Yes. So what is the expression for kinetic energy? One half m speed at point A squared plus mass times the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity times height of point A, the vertical height of point A from the zero level. And that is equal to one half m speed at point B squared plus mass times the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity times height of point B from the zero level. As you can see, the mass cancels out because can we divide both sides? When you divide both sides by the mass m, we get speed at point a squared divided by 2 plus g times height of point a equals speed at point b squared divided by 2 plus g times height of point b. To get rid of the division by 2, we multiply throughout by 2. So we multiply both sides by 2. So you get speed at point A squared plus 2G times height of point A equals speed at B squared plus 2G height of point B. Speed at point A is 2 squared. 2 times 9.8 Height of point A is 20 meters. Speed at B, we don't know, plus 2 times 9.8 times 7. Height of point B is 7. Solve for VB squared. Solve for VB squared and take the square root. The only unknown is VB squared, and then you can take square root and find the speed at point B. So speed at A, 2 meters per second. It is moving. It has non-zero kinetic energy, energy due to motion at the start. How about vertical position of point A? It's 20 meters above the zero level. That means what? It has non-zero potential energy as well. How about the vertical position at point B? 7 meters above the zero level. That means it has non-zero potential energy at point B. Question is, what is the speed at point B? Kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A equals kinetic energy at B plus potential energy at B. Expression for kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Potential energy is mg times height of point A. Kinetic energy at B is 1 half mass times speed at B squared. Potential energy at B is mass times acceleration due to gravity times height of point B from the zero level. Cancel mass, cancel mass by dividing left and right sides by m, and then multiply both sides by 2, and we get speed at a squared plus 2gha equals speed at b squared plus 2ghb. What is speed at a? 2 meters per second. What is acceleration due to gravity? 9.8 meters per second per second. What is height of point a? 20 meters. What is height of point b? 7 meters. 
substitute all those numbers that you know. So speed at A is 2, square of that is 2 squared. 2GHA becomes 2 times 9.8 times 20. Speed at B we don't know, squared, plus 2GHB becomes 2 times 9.8 times 7. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 9.8 times 20 is 392. Speed at B squared, we don't know. And then 2 times 9.8 times 7 becomes 137.2. So you get 396, 392 plus 4 is 396. So you get 396 is equal to square of the speed at point B plus 137.2. Subtract 137.2 from both sides and you get speed at B squared is equal to 396 minus 137.2. And that is 258.8. Do not forget that is the square of the speed. Take square root on both sides and you get speed at B is equal to square root of 258.8 and that is 16.09 meters per second. 16.09 meters per second. Why did the speed go up? As you come down, the height reduces, potential energy decreases, kinetic energy has to increase, there is no energy loss due to friction. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.